Okay, just going to make a quick video on how to remember how to make these uh, bootable USBs, multiple boot USBs. Download this Win setup from USB, uh, version 1 beta 7. You can get it on the internet pretty handy. Um, first off, turn off your antivirus. Make sure that's off for whatever you like. Second off, you need to prepare, or actually, make sure you've chosen the right. USB drive, you have two or three in there, you can easily wipe the wrong one. Um, so that's second off. And third, you need to format the drive. So, uh, I've seen a tutorial where it says choose that and NTFS and prepare a drive, but I had one of these USB drives that wouldn't format an NTFS and it just gave me a bit of heartache. So I chose FAT32 and this option, and it seemed to work fine. So the one I have in the moment actually works on NTFS, so I'm just going to choose NTFS on this and tell it to prepare <coughs> the drive. So a couple of OKs and it continues on to uh, format an NTFS. Okay, that seems to be finished. We'll just exit out of that. <coughs> now the next thing to do is prepare the boot sector boot sectors on this drive. So you go into boot ice and choose process MBR. That's actually on the proper USB device. Process MBR and you need to choose grubs for DOS. Click install then click save to disk. And uh, okay, that <coughs> close that. Then process PBR on here. We'll find the sectors requested. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, um, choose NTL loader and install config. Click OK. Okay, to that. And close away. Exit that. Okay, a um, couple of things, operating systems need to be loaded, need to be mounted and then added in the CD through uh, power ISO or what have you, so if you have something for mounting, mount this and uh, choose your, your operating system wherever it may be and uh, you can throw in your operating systems this way would be XP or Vista, <coughs> they'll, they'll load that way. Everything else can be done this way through uh, I find the likes of Aaron's Boot CD, Spinrite and the likes uh, work fine through this way. So I'll just show you quickly the Spinrite, it's nice and small. So open that and uh, let it go. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's done. Okay, that, and then I just want to. You can. There's, a <coughs> there's an option here you can test as it actually uh, mounts the USB and boots it as if you were booting up for the first time. You don't have to restart your machine. So if you just click test QEMU, so click go on that, and it locks a system boot with the USB. So there it is, there, the first program in the list. Spin right, so if I hit enter on that, and away she flies. That's grand. So, I'll just do one more. <coughs> and say so here is Boot CD, there have all the images here. Here is Boot CD 14. Okay. This will probably take a minute or two, so I'll just pause here. Okay, that's the job done. Um, okay, and that. Um, so you just add in everything you want to the CD, and it should, should boot up. You get problems with some things like uh, Cronus 10, I had problems with. But 
just a quick recap choose the right turn off the antivirus choose the right jet flash um, and format your drive in the way set the master boot records uh, anything with a nitrate 86 folder has to be mounted and loaded in this way uh, the ordinary ISOs <coughs> just are fine to load in this way here and that's it so you just load in one thing at a time and build up your USB that way just to show the uh, Heron's boot CD is loaded as well I'll just go into this mock program again and uh, there's the second program so load that and you just build program by program there this one's good because it has lots in it it's a juicy one cool.